In this morning's Health Watch, what's the dirtiest part of your house? Well, the new study pinpoints that exact spot. An early show consumer correspondent, Susan Copen, is here with the surprising answer. Not the toilet, huh? Not the toilet. Good, Good morning, morning, everybody. You think dirt, you think germs, you probably think the bathroom. But this new survey finds that's not it. Is this the germiest spot in your house, or is it here? To find out, scientists from public health and safety organization NSF International swabbed 30 surfaces in 22 homes. That's 660 tests in all to check for germs in the bathroom, the kitchen, and on everyday household objects. And the results may surprise you. I'd like to think that the bathroom has the most germs, but part of me really believes that it's more like the kitchen. She's right. While most people think their bathrooms are dirtiest, it's actually the kitchen. 32% of all countertops, 45% of sinks, and 77% of sponges tested positive for coliform bacteria, which can cause food poisoning. Testing also found staph germs, an indicator for the superbug known as MRSA, on 14% of refrigerator handles and 18% of sponges. The number one germiest item that we found was the dish sponge from family number 12. Meet family number 12. Don Simpson's sponge had a stomach-churning coliform count of 1.8 billion, 180 million times the amount of germs found on a new clean sponge. No way. Yeah, way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Seems pretty gross, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty bad. But I mean, is the, is the sponge something that you really thought of as being the germiest no. thing in your house? Mm -mm. No. I definitely didn't think it was clean, but I wouldn't have thought that that was the germiest thing in my house. Other hot spots in Dawn's kitchen? Her countertop and coffee maker. People think they're already clean in the kitchen, and they, they neglect some of the areas that they really need to focus on. And in Dawn's bathroom, a shocker. The germiest spot, her toothbrush holder. It had over a thousand times more coliform bacteria than her toilet seat. If the bristles become contaminated and you're putting that into your mouth, that's direct cross-contamination right there. So recapping the germy results, toothbrush holders turned out to be the third germiest spot in all the homes tested. The kitchen sink was second and number one, the good old kitchen sponge. I'll probably stop using a sponge. Gone with the sponge. Gone with the sponge. It's out of here. And instead of using a sponge, you should use a dish rag that you can actually just throw in the washing machine and clean up. But if you can't part with that sponge, pop it in the microwave for two minutes and replace it every two weeks. Disgusting to think that you'd be safer to basically brush your teeth in the toilet bowl well, than when you put your toothbrush. All the people watching this story right now brushing their teeth, they're like, great. <laughs> Whoa, Thanks, Susan. Put that down. Uh, <laughs> sponges, why, uh, I mean, why are they just so germy? I mean, they just have me? so many nooks and crannies. And then think about where people keep it. You yeah. know, it's next to the sink. It's in the sink. It's all wet and mushy and gross. So if you can get rid of the sponges, don't use them. But uh, if you're addicted to using a sponge to clean your dishes, replace it yeah. quite often. It sounds as though we really have to kind of concentrate on the things that were not so obvious, like the toilet bowl, which is the thing that would first come to Right. I mean, lines. everybody thinks, okay, the toilet is going to be disgusting, so let me clean that. But you really have to think about the things that you're not cleaning on a regular basis, and maybe you should. So yeah. stuff like the toothbrush holder and really scrubbing the kitchen sink. Yeah. Now that you've got all this information firsthand and seeing a report like this and being a part of a report like this, has it changed the way your cleaning lady cleans your home? Stop it. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have to I will admit that um, the first thing I did when I went home is I put the toothbrush holder <laughs> in the dishwasher. I cleaned that. I, I bought a huge package of sponges because I use a sponge in my yeah. kitchen, but I started to uh, get rid of them every couple of days yeah. and I, use a new one. I think some people seeing the bed bug story, if they remember that from a few weeks yeah. back. and. <laughs> <laughs> They're worried this. about my house. They're saying to themselves, right. <laughs> if we get that dinner invitation over to Copen's place, we may want to rethink this. Right now, I am bed bug free, yeah. and um, I think my house is pretty germ free at this yeah. point. We've got this microwave here. I mean, what should people do with the microwave? Just kind of. Yeah, Anything I mean, for the, the for the you know, a lot of people that I've talked to who like sponges, they put them in the, either the dishwasher yeah. or they pop them in the microwave. The experts we talked to said pop them in the microwave for two minutes and you should be good to go. But you know, sponges don't cost that much money, so if you really want to use them, you know, yeah. just buy buy a big package and then and use them quite often. Get rid of them. Yeah. I guess what I was getting at is after you do put these sponges in the microwave, you better clean them. Oh, then clean just yeah. before you go and, and put your macaroni in there. All right, Susan, thanks. All right, good to see you again.